we'll go now to the second portion of the applications of integration on force due to fluid pressure. So for this example, let's have an oil tank is in the shape of a right circular cylinder, 4 feet in diameter, and its axis is horizontal. If the tank is half full of oil weighing 50 pounds per cubic feet, find the total force on one end due to liquid pressure. So let's write the given. So in here, we're basically given a right circular cylinder whose axis is horizontal. So it has a diameter of 4 feet. And then it, the liquid content inside has a weight density of 50 pounds per cubic foot. So let's just try drawing it in a Cartesian plane. On the Cartesian plane, uh, since it's only half full of oil, uh, there's actually no need to draw the top. Let's just draw a semicircle. So in this case, let's draw the points. That's 2, 0, and 0, negative 2. And then the horizontal element being drawn, the representative element would be this orange element, which has a length of x and a height or a depth of h. In this case, since we draw the surface of the liquid here at the x-axis, we can see that the height would then be from 0 up to whatever y value it has. So that's 0 minus y. And now let's take the equation of the circle for the circle since it has a radius of 2 i can see that um the equation would be x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 however since we want to solve for the length in here the length is x it would be x is equal to the square root of 4 minus y squared so let's restart that so let's just say this is the axis and then it's submerged half half filled with oil so let's just draw the semicircle in here so the semicircle would have two zero zero negative two and negative two zero but then we can choose not to take the left side we'll just take half of it and then just multiply this by two so let's just say this is the oil the liquid level it's up to there and then let's draw the representative element which is a rectangle this representative element would be the one that represents the slab where the force is acting on and then the height would then be from the surface of the liquid up to the element that i drew this one the dh would be dy what else is needed in this case, all right, so the equation um, radius is equal to 2, so x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 because the center, we place the center at 0, 0. So the formula for the weight, the formula for the force is F, W, H, D, A from A to B. It so happened that we are given W. W was given to be 50 pounds per cubic feet. It's constant. What else? H. For the H, it's coming from the surface of the liquid. That's 0 minus Y. And then DA is length times width. So the length would be, the length of this rectangle would be touching the semicircle. So for the length, it's xr minus xl. x of the right, that means x. Let's isolate x. That would be the square root of 4 minus y squared. So here, 4 minus y squared square root minus 0. So this is square root of 4 minus y squared multiplied by the width. It so happened that the width is dh, which is dy and then the limits the limits that are affected here the area that's affected is coming from negative 2 up to 0 therefore if i were to write the equation of the force that's only half of it that's going to be 50 i can bring that out integral from negative 2 up to 0 of h which is negative y and then this is going to be 
4 minus y squared dy. So I think that's that's basically what was written in here in the next slide. So it's actually solved in this one already. The answer would be 800 over 3. So this is basically simple power rule. The general power formula is being used here. So what about if I give you this one? Just a situation wherein I place the liquid level here on the x-axis. But what I have is I drew the tank. Let's just say the whole plate, a circular plate, is submerged. And then the diameter is 4 feet. So that means the radius is the radius is 2. So how do we how do we solve for this one? You have to remember your uh, analytic geometry wherein the formula for a circle, if the center is at 0, 0, it's going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. In this case, it's going to be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. It's going to be even more difficult for us. Because the center of this one would be at 0, negative 2. So, x squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared is equal to 4. That's going to be the equation of this circle. So, let's draw the element. So, if we take only half of it, let's just say this one. And then, let's draw the height. If it's submerged, fully submerged, I can see that this is the height, this is the width. It's so happy that that's dy or dh. And then what else? Let's draw the, let's write the formula. W, integral of h dA. It's so happened that for us, since we only took half of it, that's going to be, let, let's complete all the parts first. So W, h da and then the limits for the density let's just say that that's constant the h from the top that's zero minus y this is length times width your length is the equation of the circle the x right of the circle minus x left so the x would then be square root of four minus y plus 2 quantity squared and then you can just expand this one so this one would be square root of 4 minus y plus 2 squared minus 0 the width it so happened to be dy and then the limits that are submerged would be from negative 4 up to 0 so the formula for the force is f over 2 is equal to w from negative 4 up to 0 of negative y the square root of 4 minus if this is expanded let's just try y squared minus 4y minus 4 dy that's negative 4 to 0 of negative y square root of negative y squared minus 4y dy so that's f over 2 so let's go to our next example yes a parabolic parabolic plate with its axis perpendicular to the surface of the liquid and of base six feet is immersed vertically in an open tank containing distilled water you're given the density 60 such that its vertex and base are 6 feet and 15 feet from the surface, respectively. Determine the total force acting on one face of the plate. So since the base is 6 uh, feet and then the vertex and the base are 6 and 15 feet from the surface, that means the vertex has to be, it has to be an upright parabola, a parabola facing or opening down, concaving down. So it should be the figure on the right. So this is given to us, and then the equation of the parabola is given. 
as x minus h is equal to negative 4a y minus k. So let's just try. Let's let's just try drawing that. So where is the surface of the liquid is at y equals six? So let's just say this one. Y equals six, and then the parabolic plate. The parabolic plate here facing down. It has a distance of the base is six, so that is three, negative nine, and this point is zero, negative nine. The other point is negative three, negative nine. So no problem with this. Because it says here, um, 15 feet to the base, 6 feet to the vertex. So that means the whole parabolic plate is just 9. Alright. So let's draw the representative element. It would be this rectangular element. It's easy because a rectangular element, it's always area is length times width. And then the height or depth would come from the surface of the liquid. So that's H. And then this is your width. It so happened that the width is dy or sometimes you can just say dh. So the equation of the parabola facing down is x minus h squared is negative 4a y minus k. Now the thing is the vertex we place them at. It's easy for us to place this at 0, 0 so that the h and k would zero out. This one would just then be negative 4a y the thing is can we how, how do we solve for that a we have to know at least one point so here if i use point 3 negative 9 i can say 3 squared is negative 4a negative 9 your 4a is equal to 1 therefore the equation of the parabola is the equation of the parabola is x squared is equal to negative y, right? Because your 4a e is 1, the whole thing. Okay, so let's let's uh, write the formula. So the formula would then be f is equal to w integral from a to b of h dA. So let's write w h da and then the limits the w it's given to be i think 60 yeah 60 it's constant pounds per cubic feet the height comes from 6 minus y and then the da length times with the length so happen to be parabola that means there's an uh x right minus x left so let's just write the x right minus x left first. The right side of it is the square root of negative y minus the left side is 0. And then the, the width is simply dy. The limits, the, sub, the subjected portion is coming from negative 9 up to here because this is the x-axis up to zero only so take note that we only drew half of it so it's gonna be f over 2 60 from negative 9 up to 0 of h which is 6 minus 6 minus y and then da is square root of negative y minus 0 dy so i think this would be the formula let's see f over 2 60 from negative 9 to 0 6 minus y square root of negative y dy exactly this one so from here um distribute the square root of negative y and then basically just apply the power formula so you'd be able to get 24,624 
force units in this case. So thank you very much and happy studying.